Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the Bishi Your Girl Next Door. So in today's video, I'm going to burst out five myths that I have heard around and that does not make sense at all. And I wanted to create this awareness and these all myths are related to both hair and skincare. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do in today's video. But before we get started with the video, I would like to request all of you to go and hit the like button, share my channel, subscribe to it, and please show the love you already are. <laughs> so now we can just get started with the video. Myth number one, hair mask should be used before shampooing. Okay, so this one is a myth or is a conception that misconception that just people are following blindly and you know it's not right I will tell you why see uh, the ready-made hair masks that you get are meant for deep uh, conditioning of your hair are meant to take care of your hair and are meant to do that extra little thing that you can't really do with your home remedies suppose if you're not very regular with hair care then you might need that you know hair mask because those are rich in nutrients and there are so many hair masks available in the market but one common thing that i've seen people doing is they just apply it on dirty hair and then they go and shampoo their hair and this is not about just people around me but i have also seen these videos on youtube which which is not correct i'll tell you the reason the reason is that when your hair is dirty it creates sort of a barrier on your hair uh, a layer on your hair of dirt of pollutants over which if you'll apply hair mask the hair mask will not be able to do what it is really meant to do so think of it like this you have your face uh, you have hair face packs also so when you apply your face uh, mask you apply it and then do you ever go and wash it with face wash no and if you're even regular to uh, beauty parlors they tell you that you know after you get your facial done they apply a face mask and then they tell you to not put anything for at least you know five to six hours or probably a day even to use a face wash they tell you to do it after a day that is how hair mask also works man your hair is dirty the first and foremost thing that you have to do is to clean your hair and your hair should be damp before you apply the hair mask so the thing is that people don't really uh, believe it because they say that it works for me it will work for you but if you really need the you know the result that the hair mask is really meant for be please wash your hair and then apply the ready-made hair mask you get Myth number two, overnight oiling is necessary for you to get the best results. Uh, no. So I have heard this again from a lot of people that, you know, if you're not regular with your hair care, then what you have to do is you have to make sure that you put oil one night before you shampoo your hair so that the oil could actually, you know, do the work. Actually, you know what, before doing any of these, you need to know what your hair type is. Suppose if you have oily scalp, actually putting oil overnight can really clog your pores on your scalp, which, you know, tends to um, get more dandruff and dirt and, you know, your scalp becomes oily and then you need the feel to wash your hair every two or three days after every two or three days. So, um... Actually, if you're applying oil two hours prior to your hair or shampooing, that's enough. It is not a shortcut because especially if you're using coconut oil and everything, these oils are so thin that they can really penetrate in your uh, scalp and give you the nutrient or the nourishment that is needed in two hours. It doesn't work in two hours. You can leave it overnight if you have dry scalp. You can also skip that. But if you have oily scalp, Please do not leave it overnight. It is not going to help you. So please know your hair type and uh, stop thinking like this ki jitni zyada din you will put oil in your hair, utna zyada effect it will do. It is not like that. Um, it doesn't work in two hours also. And this is really a big myth. Using lemon in your hair decolors your hair. Have you ever heard of it? I have heard of it so many times. See. I have been into hair care for I think forever now. I was I think in school when I really started doing this little bit like just oiling my hair and putting lemon for not having dandruff and ever since I've heard from people that you put lemon juice in your hair 
it will decolor your hair it will cause your hair to become white i'm like what no i mean see uh, lemon juice has vitamin c in it and it is not meant to decolor okay it is not a bleach it is not a bleach for your hair yes there is a disadvantage there is a side effect there is a drawback of using lemon juice but uh, it depends on the quantity you are using it in you know if you put uh, three lemons squeeze it out and just put everything together at one point of your one area of your hair even then it will not decolor your hair the only thing is that yes lemon juice could be a little drying and especially if you're using on your dried up uh, uh, strands like uh, if you have split ends or colored parts in your hair if you directly use the lemon juice it might dry your hair which is not very nice so uh, using it in your diys absolutely does not have any disadvantage in fact if you use it in your diys it makes sure that your follicles become stronger it makes your hair shiny it helps you to grow your hair it has also anti fungal properties which will make sure that you do not get dandruff which is the biggest biggest reason for having hair fall so girls and guys please do not hesitate uh, while using lemon juice in your diys it is not going to decolor your hair i have been using it for 10 years now i think probably more than 10 years now and my hair is black pitch black and nothing has happened so this is by my experience is not even a research that i have done it is the experience that i have had no no lemon does not decolor your hair use it in a proper like proper amount and if you have really dry hair please make sure that you mix some honey with it and you will be just fine another myth very common myth that you can cure split ends no you cannot cure split ends there are so many products in the market that actually you know target audience saying that this is very nourishing and you're going to uh, get rid of your hair uh, split ends and everything that's not true see once your hair is damaged and once you have a lot of split ends the only way to get rid of it is to trim them yes it is necessary that you get regular uh, trimming to your hair and you make sure that the split ends that you have gotten you are uh, getting rid of them as soon as you get it yes hair mask and other products can help to prevent split ends once you are done with the trimming make sure that you are nourishing your hair properly i have mentioned this before also in my previous video when i was doing those uh, questions related to hair coloring i mentioned it again and again that the only reason that you get split ends is because your hair tends to dry a lot especially if you have chemically treated hair and uh, as soon as you lose the nourished uh, nourishment from your hair strand as soon as your hair becomes dry your strands becomes weak and that is the reason that you get those split ends so once it's dry right you will have to cut the part that is already damaged but yes after that you're done with that you can use those nice products and you can definitely prevent having split ends there is no question in that but once you've gotten it no shortcut you have to get it trimmed another common myth that i have heard is honey results in early hair graying have you ever heard of it actually this i have heard very recently and i was shocked i was really shocked i mean this is i think a very old myth that has been just there and people have refused to kind of you know find out if it is really true or not but this is again a very big myth honey only helps in nourishing if you apply it on your face or if you apply it on your hair it is not going to damage your hair in any manner you're not going to get any gray hair because of it um take my words if you i mean if you face something like that then you can actually get back to me because i have been using honey and lemon forever in my diys when even i was a child i mean child by child i mean teenager i had no other thing right like honey and lemon was the only thing that was easily available in the kitchen or that i could have easily bought and i have been using it and i have enjoyed the results thoroughly my skin and my uh, hair feels so good shiny and 
I mean, honey has so many good properties, man. It helps you to fight tanning. It gives you the nourishment. Helps you to keep take care of your chemically treated hair. Honey has no side effect. Please do not believe these myths and just go ahead and use honey in your DIYs. And the last one is for makeup because you know I did all the skincare and hair care, but I really wanted to m- mention this also. I have heard this myth a lot. Foundation blocks your face pores. Have you heard of it? I mean, let me know in the comment section below if you were, um, if you had ever heard of all these myths. Makeup is not harmful until unless you know how to handle it, right? If you wear makeup and you sleep with it, of course, of course, your pores are gonna block. But the thing is that it's not that makeup is bad. right if you find the correct formula for your foundation and if you make sure that you uh, remove it before you sleep it's it's not going to do any sort of i mean it's not going to harm your skin in any any manner trust me just make sure that you know your skin type if you are oily skin type make sure that you get a mattifying foundation and that's all like don't worry don't think about it so much i've seen a lot of people say that I don't want to play with my skin by wearing makeup. You are not playing with your skin. It's not a bad thing. It's actually amazing. If you like makeup, just go ahead and do it. It's not going to damage you in any manner. Please do not believe that. Just make sure that you remove it properly before you sleep and you do your skincare. Even if you do not apply makeup, you have to do your skincare. Not doing skincare is any way going to damage your skin. So it has nothing to do with makeup. So that's it girls that's all about all the myths that I could uh, really think of these were on top of my head because it really sometimes you know this hurts me that people are not using a lot of things because they have all these wrong information and I thought like since I have a channel and I have been doing all these things and I know that these are not harmful I should probably just go ahead and tell and make a video out of it so I hope you like this one please 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 uh, you can go and research about all the things that i have said I, i'm talking with my experience it's not going to uh, a- everything that i have said is the experience that i have had i have i have been doing it so you can trust me this is the experience that i'm talking about so yeah that's it for this one um i'll be up soon in my next video uh, till that time take care bye bye be beautiful stay away from all the myths and yeah i love you all so much bye bye namaste